one. We are. This is 2OF Entertainment. Are back we are back indeed as if we're backwards or forwards or whatever to another exciting snobs no snobs or knobs <laughs> don't it, sound it, so excited about yeah this well as, uh, it's it's been a while because i've been i've been tom and dick for the last two couple of weeks three weeks there you go. All right. and then uh, so it's uh, my apologies to anybody who was you know, waiting. I know I've you know a mailbox fill is filled up, uh, which we'll cover, I'm sure, in the show. Um oh my god. Did, and, Beaver, Lick, and, did Beaver Lick send you some more crap? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> let, let's just let's get straight into it, Stephen. Oh my god, let's get yeah, this will be fun. Yeah, what do we have? on well, this week's know. No Snobs or Nom show, we have our true or false, we have rant of the week on this day. Stupid AI photos, knobby news, sex horoscope, um, achievable things to do before you die. Okay, AI babe of the week. Oh, we have eight things. We're gonna do that in thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. Let's just let's get straight in then. True, true or false? false. You, you you know how this gig works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we start, okay. It's true or false? Elephants. Have the highest blood pressure of any animal. I'm going to say true. No, wait a second. Could it be false because they're so chill? I'm going to go with false. I'm going to go with true. False. I'm going to go true and false. No, I would say false. They probably are the chillest animal animal on the world in the world, other than a tortoise. So okay, so you're going to say that's false. I'll say that's false. Last week I got it right. I don't know what last week was, but I got it right. It's very exciting. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll bank that one up. As you know, we come back to okay. that. At the end of the show, and um, yeah, we do. Let's 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 keep pedaling on through. Here we go. The rant of the week. What's our rant of the week? Do you want to have a rant first, or are you rant free, or do you want to? Uh... Well, I read an article and I sent it to you about Elon Musk is basically becoming an enemy of the state everywhere. Yeah. I thought that it's not really a rant. I'm just like kudos that finally somebody woke up and realized that Elon Musk is an enemy of the state in Brazil, yeah. America, Russia. Ukraine. Um, the article was talking about how he gave Skylink to the Ukraine and then took it away from the Ukraine. I mean, like, he really thinks he's something and he's not. Yeah. So um, that's not a rant. It's just a, that's a statement of fact. The other thing I saw this week, yesterday on Netflix, Labor Day weekend is the world famous hotting, hot dog eating contest in Nathan's. But which we normally, yeah. which we know, which we talk about endlessly on this show. Oh, I know you do. But Chesnick and Kumasawi or whatever were on Netflix yeah. yesterday live doing, um, a world championship hot dog eating contest on Netflix, just for Netflix. Um, okay. And Chesnick ate 83 hot dogs. And, and Kui Sawi, and I'm, I know I'm pronouncing his name, did a, a, his own best at um, 62 or 63. But Chesnick now holds the world record with 83 hot dogs. Yeah. And I, or, and I was I like, also, wow. Uh, so a document, documentary on that. You have to eat them in a certain way. So well, they, they changed the rules for this. Um, it was a whole thing. And then when they were done, they would scrape them for this. And I was, I was like, it was interesting. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So it was interesting yeah. to finally see your boy Chesnick do whatever Chesnick does. And, um, if, okay. if he was in gay porn. Were, were, they, the, were, were, were these, well. were these vegetarian hot dogs then? Or, I have no idea. A, a, yeah. Because of course the other competition chucked him out because he was, no, I think, uh, vegging. I think, I don't know. They didn't say if they were vegetarian or not, but only real, only real men eat real hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. What, what can I say? What's your rant? What's our rant? Well, wait for it. Well, I am. It's a biggie. I'm sure. Rant of the gift wrapping? Seriously? Yeah. And yeah. of course, it's, Miss, it's from Miss Eileen Dover. It's Miss Eileen Dover from Beaverlick. Beaverlick, Kentucky. Yeah. We like Beaverlick, yeah. apparently. Beaverlick is our only fan, I think. She, she, she fills up. She regularly fills me up. Um, and, and my uh, and my email box. All right. So, Why do um, people spend so much time in gift wrapping only for the people to rip it off in five seconds? That's not true. I I meticulously 
uh, because I'm cheap, I meticulously take my gift wrapping off and then I save it to re-gift the gift wrapping. I haven't bought yeah, gift well, wrapping in 20 years. Yeah, um, yeah. We should just hand people rolls of wrapping paper and say, imagine it's wrapped. <laughs> Uh, listen, I've well, given I'll, I've given a gift in just a, a brown bag before because I don't have time to gift wrap it. So yeah, well, they're, they're, for kids, they're, you, fun. You, little kids you, like it. You qualify. I mean, yeah. when I was when I was a lot younger and, and you know things things were uh, financially um, you know also very tight at home. My mother would say, "Carefully unwrap everything," and what you know what didn't get ripped, she'd sort of almost iron out and use bits and pieces of it through the year. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, that's uh, that's how every mother did that. It didn't matter if you had money or not. We had money. Yeah. We, my mom would do that. Except at yeah. Christmas time, I was allowed, or Hanukkah, I should say, we were allowed to tear the gifts apart. Like, yeah. <laughs> but because I was raised that you have to be very careful anyway, I would be like, you know. So yeah, well, I do. I do it now. I still do it. I peel it off, and people say to me, my kids in particular, say, "Why don't you just open it? Why don't you?" I said, "No, you know." And they said, well, just open it, you know, open it, see what's in it. I said, no, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit like, it's a bit like sex, isn't it, really? Like, the slower you do it, the more enjoyment you have. Yeah, it's not true. You just throw them down like a caveman, have your way with them, you know, grab yeah. them by well, their that's hair. A bit, but that's anything. a bit difficult to do with, you know, with a parcel from Macy's, but I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Macy's parcels like that. I read that in a magazine. Oh, they that do, in, yeah, uh, yeah. Cosmopolitan yeah. magazines and... Macy's, yeah. Macy's parcels like to be slapped around and had their way with. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that, that's after oh, yeah. they've having having. That's all after they've had. You know, the Macy's stores had a serious, uh, serious blow up before. Yep, yep. Okay, well let's uh, let's let's move on. Thank so you, uh, how uh, how you how how do you feel about Eileen's uh, Eileen Dover this week? Is she is she uh, is it an acceptable rap or you think? Yeah, like, I don't even know. I, I think it's just one of those things. It's just a thing. It's, it's just, one of those things. Yeah, right. it's not. It's what it is. It's not a. It's not even a rant. I, it's just sort of like, all right. I do agree with her though. It get to a certain age where I don't think you need to wrap the gift anymore. Yeah. You can just give I me. Think, like, I'm give not me, sure how. Give me socks, just give me the socks. You know what I mean? Like I can kind of feel. Give me the shirt. Yeah. It's okay. So. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure how old uh, Miss Miss Eileen Dover is uh, from Beaver Lake, in Kentucky, but she's, she's she has she has time enough in her life to uh, to fill up my email box. So no doubt we'll be hearing a lot more from her no, as we wait. move on through 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 this season. Okay, off uh, we go. On this day. So, oh, what happened on this day? On this day. On this day in 1897. The death of a vampire. Oh, you know uh, me. I love my vampires. I know you do. On September 4th, 1897, Mercy Brown, that just sounds like a made-up name, a young woman from Rhode Island, really, uh, was oh, it was exhumed posthumously due to her family's belief that she was a vampire. Really? Her family yeah. suffered through uh, tuberculosis, through oh, that she was raising from her grave and getting sick. Uh, they exhumed her, her heart was burned, and the ashes were mixed with water and given to her brother to drink as a cure. So my question is then, what happened after that? Yeah, what happened? What, I mean, prob well, maybe on the 5th of December, 5th, 5th of September, I should say. They all died. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's an habituary about the brother who died of... Uh, yeah, yeah, you should have, like, you should have, like, looked into this a little more. I, I want to yeah. know what happened now that they did all no, this, this well, poor well, woman. Well, so, we can say this, to, all our viewers, know. then, if you know what happened to his brother, you know, really, the comments family, down... It's not her family suffered from tuberculosis. It was... Yeah. Whatchamacallit, it was her brother that suffered from tuberculosis. She gave... And she thought she was rising from the grave to sicken them. Well, why wouldn't you just yeah. camp out around the grave to see what was going on? Yeah. Well, Why'd you have to assume her? Maybe, yeah. Well, maybe they just had to, yeah. Maybe they had to work. That's, That's crazy. I mean, it's also 1897, but it's still crazy. Yeah. All right. Who would, have, who, would have, who would have known, eh? That's what Nobody. I'm and I don't think anybody cares. So. No. <laughs> Which is the real, right, which, well, is, which, yeah. which really is the very essence of this show, to be honest. That's true. Nobody yeah. even watches it, so there you go. We do this <laughs> for go. us. Okay, go there ahead. We go. There we go. Stupid AI photo of the week. I can't wait to see this. 
Well, we don't share we don't share the same um, yeah the same view on AI art. It would seem so. That's here true. we go. That's a cool photo. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Yeah. So what's I don't cool see about? Why you think that's you a know? stupid photo. That's like you well, see with the monkey and the glasses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I, we I can only we you know it's like I mean it wasn't that long ago when well when I was well, I think probably in the 60s and the 70s that they were advertising uh, tea on on British TV, PG the Tips, but, Chimpans, yeah. with the monkeys drinking yeah. the tea. Well, they used to have the television show when I was a kid on the Banana Splits. It was called Lancelot Link Secret Chimps. Oh, okay. And I remember that as a kid, and it had the chimpanzees playing spies and whatever. It was a really cute little thing. So this is what that reminds me of. It was sort of like Lancelot Link Secret Chimps have kind of, up, you know, updated themselves looking cool. Banana splits. I remember the banana splits because we had the old program in uh, in color. Yeah. Uh, originally, uh, we had BBC One wasn't in color. ITV wasn't. BBC Two was in color. My father famously bought a color TV to Ooh. watch Ipswich Town uh, in the FA Cup final, only to find that it was not being sent out that year because of technical reasons. So we watched it in black and white. But we had a color TV. Mm. Um, so we watched things like Roman and Martin's laughing. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, I, which which I absolutely adored. Um, uh, some Andy Williams thing with, with a skating bear or something, and all sorts of weird stuff from, from the US. Oh, no, Andy Williams, not Andy. No, Andy Williams had the the Andy Williams show. It had Donnie and Marie Osmond. The Osmonds were on that show, and they had his skating bear. Yeah, yeah. I remember that show. I used to watch yeah, it when well, I was a kid. Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, totally, it's just one of those things. I think it just kind of sticks with me. But there you go. So yeah. again. You know, and, wait, wait. and and when the television show came on back then, it would say in living color. Because still some shows were in black and white. So if the show was in color, it would tell you it was in living color. Yeah. And, and I used to go around color. saying to people, that's very interesting. Which oh, that's yeah. Artie Johnson from Rowan and Martin's yeah. Laughing played the Nazi. Yeah, we come yeah, through would the, come through the uh <laughs> the uh the hedge and go there. Yeah. Interesting, smoking the cigarette like a, yeah. a Stapo agent. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and I used to say it to everybody at school, of course, but uh, you know, not everybody I had a color TV, a or had yeah. a color TV, or you know, or watched uh, watched sure. American American shows. Well, you should always watch everything American. We're apparently, according to all our politicians, the greatest country in the world. So there you have it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the other the other interesting fact uh, about color TV was that um, they that was on BBC Two, which at that point of time was being run by David Attenborough. Yeah, the Ooh, David Edinburgh. Sure. He, yeah, he was the he was the program chief of BBC Two, and and to and in many respects, he's actually the father of TV snooker, because they had I think about two or three really big color um, color cameras, which were these huge stands, so they couldn't take him out to do other sport things. Right. And so he asked around in his team, "What have we got which is colorful um, and we can show as a sport?" And so they started off with this with this weekly program called Pop Black, which, yeah. uh, which was a, 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 you know a weekly snooker competition. And so he's the man who's credited to having snooker, um, not pool, but you know English snooker. Snook, yeah, on, snook. I know snook. Yeah, on the on the TV, uh, simply because it was a stagnant game with lots of, you know, the, the play area yeah. was stagnant, and there was lots of color. Yeah, I remember Snook. Sure, I used to play. I, when I used to do business in Vancouver, and stay at the Terminal City Club, they had a Snook table, and a buddy of mine and I would play Snook instead of billiards. So yeah. I like I like Snook. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. Most snook. people don't know what Snook is, though. No, no, it's because it's called Snook, and that's probably why they don't know what Snook. Well, you no, know, in America we call it Snook, not okay. Snooker. Right. We're okay. not British. Snook. Remember, we kicked your butt in 1776. We had to change some words. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, those... well, 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 as I keep saying, you know, if, uh, as a Brit, if we'd have thought that uh, the U.S. was worth keeping, we'd have kept it. But that's another yeah, story. Yeah, but I just yeah. read this book about Churchill and the presidents, and you guys came and begged for us to help you during World War II. So apparently... No, yeah, he, he didn't. Something. He didn't. We did, we did. He just wanted somewhere else to run around naked and smoke cigars. That is very true, by the way. In that's the it. book, it talks about that Roosevelt did see him naked. Yeah, yeah. So, and now yeah. Nobby news of the week. Oh god. Are you ready? Uh, uh, never ready for this, but sure, go ahead. 
Okay. Well, here we go. Hold on to your hats. I'm holding on to something. Man sentenced to three months of prison time for che uh, catching wife cheating. Why is a Taiwanese car sentenced a man to three months in prison for invading his adulteress's wife privacy by installing hidden cameras around their home? Yeah. Okay. I have nothing to say about that. That is the dumbest thing I think I've ever heard. He goes to jail. He's, he goes to jail three months. Yeah, he should have just put his wife on OnlyFans and he would have made a ton of money. Yeah, well, that's probably what the argument was about in the first place. But, uh, yeah, three months in prison for yeah. uh, invading her privacy. Okay, um, it's probably what some her adulterous friend was doing anyway. But he was uh, invading something, so but but, uh, but he got I wonder away if with he it. was Chinese because that would be like a Chinese invasion. But I'm, yeah, well, Thursday. there you go. There you go. Right. There we go. Are you ready? Number two. Uh, well, Number two. Got some corkers this week. Here we go. Number two. Ah, woman claims daughter became pregnant by wearing underwear purchased online. Yeah. <sighs> Apparently, a woman claiming to have purchased underwear from the company Ataba, one of Chinese largest online retailer platforms, uh, contacted customer support, complaining that her daughter had become pregnant after wearing a pair of brand new underwear. There you go. Attempt to convince the disgruntled woman that such a thing was impossible. She insisted that it was the only way her daughter could have gotten pregnant uh, and demanded an explanation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah because obviously, uh, you know, or it could have been a dirty toilet seat, uh, which I was, which I was always warned about. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hey. Well, it's left, well, it's, uh, this show's getting better because it's left you speechless. Oh, I just, yeah. It'll be, it'll be a huge success next week. Let you watch. There everybody you watch it. Oh, everybody right, will watch it to, to, to hear you not say something. There, there you go. go. Number, Number three. three. Oh, God. Chess player allegedly tries to poison rival by smearing chessboard with mercury. Seriously, yep. Russian chess player is facing a lifetime ban. I should be facing a lot more than that from officially competing. Some guy named something Avarov, a 40 year old chess player from the Russian Republic of Dag that's not even real Dagestan, really stands accused of trying to poison another female player, really, during a chess tournament in another make believe city. Surveillance footage of from oh, surveillance is from Dagestan classic chess championship shows the 40 year old woman spreading a substance later identified as mercury on the chessboard in pieces that would later be used by another player. What the hell? What kind of world? Never mind. No, it's so stupid. So far, yeah. the Taiwanese guy taking pictures of his wife is the winner, but this is just as dumb. Stephen, this is Nobby News, and you know that you know, we've got quality stuff happening here. Oh, yeah, this is quality stuff, okay. So. Yeah, so, uh, right. you know, we do, we, we're doing our best here. Here we okay. go. Off we go right. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four. Number four. Uh, Chapachi, Mexico's Coca-Cola addicted state. Coca-Cola yep. is consumed all around the world, but nowhere is it more popular than the Mexican state of Chapachis, because I can't pronounce it, sorry, where the average person drinks, wow, 821 liters of Coke per year. That's roughly 32 times the global average. They put cocaine in that thing. The people of Chaka Chaka Paca pa consume more Coca-Cola than any other people on the planet, about 2.2 liters of it a day which makes it more popular than drinking water. Most people don't consume it as a treat, but as a way of keeping themselves hydrated throughout the day, and many have no clue that they're addicted to it. You think? Wow. And that is well, crazy. I mean, I traveled a lot in my early 20s, and you could always get a can or a bottle of Coke sure. in the most obscure places on the planet yeah. where, you, where you could not get a bottle of water. Yeah. So, you know... But to, to think that they're not addicted to it. I, I will tell you, though, here in Texas, you can get Mexican Coke, Coca-Cola, Mexican Coca-Cola, because yeah. they bring it across yeah. the border. And it is a different taste, different flavor. And I'm assuming probably some different ingredients in it. So yeah. I don't know how bad that Coca-Cola is compared to the ones we get in America. But the Mexican Coca-Cola, the ones that I've had are very good. Um, and it yeah. doesn't seem it's as, as sugary. So I don't know. Well, maybe maybe that's uh, 
Maybe that's the case. But um, yeah, number four, they're doing a lot of this stuff. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, let's see. Ah, Vladimir Putin warns Russia not to use dating app in case they are duped by Ukrainian spies. Yeah. Can't wait to read this. The Russian leader has told people living in three Western regions, Kress, Belgrade, and Brisk, or whatever, neighboring the Ukraine, not to use tech to prevent Kiev collecting intelligence. Seriously? The Russian Ministry of Internet and Internal Affairs also claimed that the Ukraine was remotely accessing CCT cameras to spy on people. That's probably true. Yeah. It said there are, uh, the use of online dating services strongly discouraged. The enemy is actively using them to gather information. How the frig are you going to gather information if some horny guy is trying to get laid? That's ridiculous. That's yeah. the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe it's, it's 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 slightly dark this one in the, in the respect that, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you, where people they, people do put a lot a lot of stuff on it. They put their age, they put yeah. Their, but that's not going to uh, help you win a war. No, no, but it's 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 a way of targeting maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it? I mean, is it is it Daddy Putin saying, look, you know, don't do this stuff. You're safe with me. Um, or is it the Ukrainians trying to, you know, to triangle uh, pieces of information to get a better idea of, you know, groups of men along the Russian border? I don't know. Discuss. I, I think the title of this week's show is Vladimir Putin uses dating app. I think that's what we're going to. That's that's the title of this week's. No, well, no, you, no. you have to you have to wait for number six because this one I'm oh, especially for you. Oh my God! What's and, number and, six? And, and this one. Yeah. Oh, God, here we go. AI unveils face of Jesus using a turn shroud after bombshell discovery. First of all, I'm a, we got this from. Second of all, let's read about the Italian scientists. Could have originated from Jesus' time. Okay, good. Yeah, this AI is a has been used to unveil the true face of Jesus. But he's a white guy. The UK newspaper, the Daily Express, is that really a newspaper? Used yeah. Big Journey, of course it did, to conjure up um, a simulation of many to believe the man behind the shroud. What is this, the Wizard of Oz all of a sudden? The man um, behind the shroud. In the shroud. The greatest snap seems the pair of Jesus spotting traditional long hair and a beard compared with the wounds suggested that he had suffered a fatal ordeal. Um, is he black or white? No, discuss. I know. But I'm just saying. Is, what's the picture? It, I would love to see this it, picture. Yeah. Well, well, you can find it because it's it's it has been published. But uh, you know, this whole Turin shroud thing. Um, you know, people people were in the Middle Ages were paying an absolute fortune to go and to go and see the shroud, and it was has this almost like burnt in image of something. So uh, the Catholic Church has been uh, fueling their coffers for a long, long time. And now, of course, AI's, AI's come along on mid-journey and said, no, you don't want to worry about that. We can see what's under there. We'll do a quick AI and off we go. Uh, so there you I'm go. looking for this story, and I don't see a picture or what AI said about Jesus. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So how about if we check hey. AI? Here we go. For this week's title for this show, instead of Putin uses dating app, it's going to be AI finds Jesus with a dating app. I like it. There's the title of the show. There you go. That's there you get us canceled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh God, but, I still but, like but, Putin in the dating app, but this one's just, just you, dumb. Yeah. Well, you know, as you know, Stephen, Nobby News is we're famous for the quality of journalism. I didn't know that. Which, which we're putting, well, I'm, I'm saying it, so it okay. must be true. Oh, it's true. It's, it's on the internet. I forgot. It's yeah. on the internet, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Um, so that's why we're trying to keep up the level of quality. We're keeping up so the level here we of go. Oh, I already here told you. Go. One is the is the woman, is the guy that filmed his wife uh, having sex and went to prison for it. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the your, winner. The, I, the girl, I, the underwear I, thing, that's because depending on where this lady is in China, in the middle of whatever rural city, they still have some strange beliefs. Like I have friends from China and they'll say things and I'm like, that's not anywhere close to true. 
like they have some very strange are you are you could are you disputing the fact that jesus has uh, been found with ai then is that I, that's the dumbest thing i've heard yet um but vladimir Putin it's, it's is, a, is good the jesus thing is interesting but yeah. no well it's, it's, it's got the, it's, it it's says stuff. it's a bombshell discovery Stephen. Uh, not really nobody gives a shit that's why um the man sentenced to three months in prison catching his wife cheating because he wired the house this guy was an idiot. What he should have done is wired the house, put the count on OnlyFans, would have made a mint, and then he could have just like sat and laughed all the way to the bank. Yeah. See, and I have questions about that anyway. How did you, how'd your wife find out? Because you confronted her probably and said, I caught you yes. cheating. So then she sued yeah. him, called the So I would have wired the house, sent everything to OnlyFans, made a shitload of money, and divorced her. And that would have been it. I would have taken down all the equipment after a couple of months and said, oh, "Yeah, okay. well, I mean, there after you, go. you know, after going to all that effort, if you were if you were actually that miffed about the uh, fact that your wife has been humped by by somebody else, yeah, yeah. you could in fact you could in fact have wired up the bed, couldn't you? You know, to yeah. make it to to give them both a surprise. But uh, yeah, I just yeah. I I that to me though that he goes to prison for. Making his house is the dumb is that's just I'm dumbfounded by that. Um, I don't see why he would go to prison. The pregnant thing, like I said, because it's in China, like I said, they have some strange things over there. So yeah, no, the chess player trying to kill somebody, that just seems to be a Russian thing. Um, Mexicans drinking Coca-Cola, not a shocker, you know that already. Putin in the dating app is cute, but eh, you know, not a big deal. And the AI doing something stupid, please. Um, so yeah, no, it's really got to be the guy going to prison for catching his wife cheating. That's it. Yeah, okay. That's my, that's my so, thing so, of the week. So, so oh, that, sex horoscope. Well, that's good. the number one. Well, what we've done now with the sex horoscope because we had lots of complaints, mostly yes. from you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> about it being long-winded. So, were, they were. so uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll we're going to go straight in now, and it's we're we're. we're just giving everybody a quick percentage. Okay. So, uh, so what are you often, having great chances? So our sex horoscope here, we should write that yeah, down. Yeah, this is, this is from the Wheel of Fortune for your sex horoscope. Sex horoscope. Okay, what do we got? Okay, here we go. Ready to go. Right. This is going to be a quick one. I hope so. Aries, 34%. Okay. Taurus, 78%. Ooh, good luck, Taurus, 78%. Gemini, 52%. Cancer, 74%. Ooh. Leo, 74%. There's a lot of 74s here. Virgo, 58%. Yeah, they don't deserve to get laid. Libra, 41%. Nice. Nice. Scorpio, 36%. percent going lower. Yeah, because they've been staying in bed all week. Yeah, Sagittarius, thirty-six percent, very nice. Corporacorn, thirty-six percent of having sex, very nice. Yeah, no, I haven't made any, I haven't made any of this up, as you know. I know it's Aquarius, and Aquarius, ninety-two percent, very nice. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, you know, because we're on Hollywood Wednesday now, so yeah. hold on to your hats, Aquarius, for this week. What about the Pisces? Sick. Whoa, shit, man. I'm that's well, Pisces aren't getting laid this week. Sorry, pal. So, all right. <laughs> Wow, I'm happy for the Aquarius though. 92% and Pisces are six percent. Man, yeah. it's gonna be a tough week for these people. Okay. Very so nice. um yeah, so as you know, it's we we raced through that one because of all the criticism that we had last time out. Well, because it was think, it was long and, and most people just want to know their month and what's their percentage of getting laid. They don't know. Really yeah, well well, the well now now they know it. There's a lot of people crying into their underwear this week. <laughs> and they're getting pregnant from crying into yeah. their underwear. You're crying. Underwear make you pregnant. I like that. You know what? That may be the title of the show. Can yeah. underwear make, make you, you pregnant? pregnant? Yeah. yeah. yeah I like that. Can underwear make you pregnant? I like it. It did in China. All right. That may be better than Putin using a dating app. I'm going to have to check that out on my. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. You ready for this? Are you ready for a cheese? Oh, achievable, achievable things. things to do before you die. Yes. Watch yeah. this Here complete we, episode watch. of No Snobs or Knobs. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Watch this space. Here we go. Spend an entire day talking in a fake accent. How boring is your life that you need to take an entire day to speak in a fake accent? Is this like your oh. bucket list? No, 
these are things these are achievable things to do before you die these are <laughs> if you google it you can find it so oh, um God. okay so this is uh, this is what we're being confronted with. This is the world we live in. That I've people are that. looking to things to do before they die, which are achievable. I see and that. this ha happens to be one of them. All right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's stunning, nice. isn't it? But there you go. Oh my God, it's something. All right. Oh, yeah, are you ready? I said, I said the elephant does not have. I said it was false. It does not have the highest blood pressure in the world. It probably does. But I'm saying no. You're saying it's not the elephant. It's not the elephant. It's false. It's false. Then. Um, well, I vacillate because he's so big, so he could have high blood pressure. But they're kind of so chill. I'm looking at like rhinoceroses and hippopotamuses and all tigers and lions and bears. Oh my! Um, so I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to say false, just because they're chill. But because they're so big, they could. But I'm going to go with false. And who knows? We'll see. It is false. Giraffes have the highest blood pressure of any animal. Ha, I've got two in a row, right? I'm very excited. Look at that. Look what I learned today. I learned that I was yeah. correct twice. There you go. Well, I'm done. That's what I mean. That's my goal to achieve. How many times I can get right on the show. That's what I'm going for. That is pretty good. Very cool. Well, that was nice. Anything exciting yeah. happening on our channel this week that people don't want to know about? We got a live show on Wednesday Yeah. on the cigar yeah. thing. I've got um I've got a complete show listings which have been updated, including wow. the typos. Nice. So, um, <laughs> there you go. Well, everybody, thank you for watching, and we want to thank. Oh, we've 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 we still got we still got a bit to go. Oh, know, but I'm thanking people now because most of them are leaving. Um, don't oh, right. subscribe okay. and like. David's going to end this with the AI Babe of the Week, and we will see you here all next Wednesday on No Snubs or Knobs, David. That's exactly what we're going to do. The AI. Baby of the week. Dun, dun. Yeah, I'm an, I'm an impressed with that one. And that's your lot. Yeah, we could do better. Bye, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>